how to heal from triggers. Hi, my name is Dr. Meghna Dikshit. I'm the author of the book You Matter and Brain and Performance Expert. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today's topic is how to heal yourself from the triggers that you go through every single day. Maybe in your relationships, maybe with interaction with the strangers, maybe at your work, any place. I'm going to take a different take today on the triggers. Triggers are basically the unhealed emotional wounds that we are feeling again and again. These unhealed emotional wounds may go really deep into your childhood or sometimes it could be very recent. The intensity of the emotions that you feel at that moment is, you must understand, is the intensity or the depth of the emotional trauma. How long has the emotional trauma suppressed inside you is something that can be seen with the intensity of the eruption of your emotions. So if you are ready to heal from your triggers, type ready in the chat box and let's dive deeper. Most often when we think of triggers, it, we feel that is something negative. Okay. Today I want to tell you that triggers makes us human and getting triggered is very normal and everybody on this planet gets triggered. Now, uh, as I was telling you, the intensity of the trigger or the reaction that you have after the trigger uh, makes you realize how deep the trauma is and how long has it been suppressed. For us to go deeper into this topic, you first need to understand that triggers can be your teachers. This can be your opportunity to dig deeper, reflect on your wounds and heal them so that you can become a better version of yourself. Learning to observe and reflect on your triggers is a great way to deeply heal yourself and make yourself a bigger version of yourself. But having said that, it may seem like, you know, a very simple statement that, you know, triggers are your teachers or triggers are your opportunities to heal yourself. It's not that easy. As you start working in this area of healing yourself, sometimes it can be really daunting and sometimes it can be really overwhelming, especially in the beginning. But if you do not give up on yourself and if you realize that, that maybe the change in the beginning is going to be messy, it is going to be very difficult and eventually as you progress it's only make it easier it will help you to look at the bigger picture that why should you heal your triggers and why should you create a 2.0 version of yourself if you are ready to go through with me in this process type ready in the chat box and let me give you your first step the first and foremost step of healing your triggers is identifying your triggers. A lot of times we are addicted to our own emotions, our own behaviors, our own past wounds. If you don't know what emotional addiction is, I've already done a video on emotional addiction. You can check on the link and watch that video. So when you are addicted to your triggers, how can you even observe them? Most often they go so unnoticed and it is very easy because it's below our awareness. Our reactions also come below our awareness. It's very easy to go unnoticed. And it's very easy to then blame your circumstance or blame somebody else in your life for your situation. So the first step to identify your triggers is set an intention. How do you set an intention? Every single morning when you wake up, you set an intention and you tell your subconscious mind, I want to identify my triggers and I want to heal them so that I can become a better version of myself. Every single morning when you wake up, you give that instruction to your subconscious mind. Remember, your subconscious mind is always listening to you. And when you give this instruction, it will slowly start showing you those triggers and those triggers will eventually turn into an opportunity for you to observe and reflect so that you can start becoming a better version of yourself. Step number two, do not rely on your mind. What do I mean by that? See, your mind is processing a lot of stuff, a lot of information, right? So if you tell your mind to keep focusing on the triggers and give you the information about it, it may not happen on a regular basis. So you know what? Writing is a very, very powerful process. 
get yourself a book or a journal which could be your trigger journal and in this book you can actually write down what everyday situations you're going through maybe you can do this in the evening or in the night before you go to sleep reflecting on your day what sort of situations triggered you today maybe you can write them down and when you write them down it gives you a different kind of a ability to be detached to that situation write everything about the situation from the first point like in terms of i did this my boss did this my husband did this so actually looking at what happened as a past and writing it as a neutral person not like you know reacting or not like putting blame on others but just the scene of that situation how it was just write that scene down that itself will give you so much objectivity about what happened and it will help you to create more reflection in your space in terms of what could you have done better or what could you have done different in the similar situation when you get that every day whatever happens if you write three four scenes like that you start writing down about how differently would you like to approach if the similar situation comes up in the next few days or the next few weeks step number 3 is to identify why why are you getting triggered with something generally when something triggers you it the trigger is not outside the outside person or a situation is just a reflection or a mirror of your internal trigger think about it i have this glass of water and i'm walking with this glass of water and someone bumps onto me and the glass of water the water spills out of the glass right so what should i say is it a fault of that person who bumped onto me or because i already had the water in the glass the glass the you know the water just spilled out what you can do about taking care of your triggers and your emotions is to know that they are coming from some past memory some past traumatic event or a childhood trauma that may have filled that emotion inside you and other person is just mirroring it when you realize that the other person is just a mirror of your internal self you automatically learn to not lay the blame on them but take the responsibility of your own reactions step number 4 know that emotions especially the ones that keep coming us to us again and again change the biochemistry of your body and your brain so it's a process that might take a little longer and it process may be overwhelming and that may bring in more emotional reactions in your space so being patient is very important key factor here now for this you need to understand that emotions are emotions when we put a label on them they give meaning to us so how about instead of calling them emotions you can simply relabel them saying an energy now when you look at any emotion as an energy energy seems like a more neutral uh, word so where you say that suppose you are emotion is anger now if you say that okay there is a emotion instead of saying that i'm feeling angry you can say that there's a surge of energy that's coming i'm feeling right now and i want to understand where this energy is coming from so simply changing the word to emo- from emotion to energy itself will start helping you to relabel the feelings that you have within yourself The next step is observe your progress. Now see emotional reactions to the triggers is very common and initially to identify triggers can be very difficult. So every time a reaction comes, every time a emotion comes that you are not comfortable with, I want you to say this affirmation. Thank you for showing me this emotion. I'm grateful for showing me this emotion. I'm grateful for what it is teaching me. When you practice this gratitude affirmation along with the emotion you are actually rewiring the neuro pathways what is manifestation manifestation is your thoughts plus feelings combined every time your thoughts and feelings are on the same page you are manifesting a reality now when you feel something 
that is uncomfortable and if you attach a thought saying that thank you for sharing this emotion thank you for showing this emotion now each time an uncomfortable emotion comes in in your space when you start saying this affirmation thank you for showing me this emotion and i'm grateful for what it is teaching me you are entirely changing the meaning of the trigger and the moment you do that eventually your brain and body will change its neuro pathways the biochemistry will eventually start changing and your manifestations will start changing you're going to start manifesting a different reality for yourself now suppose your internal triggers have calmed down and if there is still a person in your life who's toxic and who's constantly badgering you with negative comments or negative emotions maybe they will change or they will just drop out of your life when you get over your emotional addictions automatically people and situations in your life change and they also get uplifted and the last step is to release every time an emotion comes up in your space be mindful of the new connection or the new relationship that you're developing with this old emotion the more you're grateful the more your emotions are going to slowly change that will reflect in your habits and your behaviors you will start feeling lighter i have seen so many of my students changing the color of their skin and the skin color becoming lighter they are automatically dropping physical weight because it no longer serves them so there will be so many changes you are observe in your body and these are going to be the positive changes now when that stage comes you have to get into a space of be able to observe and process whatever emotions comes up so be ready to process and release be more patient with yourself not getting the hyper state or not pushing the emotion away but being present in that emotion in that moment disassociating from every information that comes in your space and just simply going inwards whichever way that helps you maybe focusing on your body parts maybe focusing on your breath or maybe simply listening to a calming music it's totally up to you how do you release this held emotion be more patient with yourself and work through it i'm here for you always if you need me to work through any emotion that's uncomfortable to you which is that trigger that you are working on today let me know in the chat box and let me see if i can specifically design a video for specific to your triggers quickly click on the link below and let me know and if you like the video give me a thumbs up share it with 10 people and see you again soon